All right, guys, thank you guys for tuning in to BMW Invasions. My name is Kenneth. My Instagram logo right over here. Um, I'm here with Miguel. He's in the white M3 CS, specifically Alpine White. We're on our way to uh, West Palm Beach. We're gonna meet with my good friend, Chris. He's the owner and CEO of 1350 Apparel. And the, the name of the company kind of tells you what we're gonna go there for. So we're gonna discuss a little bit more about something like this. So during our first event, I know we've spoken to a lot of you guys where you guys are curious about the shirts. Um, that shirt you saw, um, you might have seen it in my other vlog, which I'll link in the description. Um, that shirt was custom made by a good friend of mine, uh, the owner of 1350 Apparel. So we're on our way there to speak with him, talking about maybe uh, producing more of those shirts for some of you guys. And what's different about these shirts compared to your typical car shirts you get at car shows is that it's dry fit. It's not only dry fit, it's fitted, so it's an athletic fit. So we're also gonna be lucky to get the behind the scenes of their production. All right guys, so on that note, we'll see you when we get there. All right, so we're in West Palm Beach right now. So I'm here with Miguel, and we just drove from South Florida. We're here to meet with 1350 Apparel. A good friend of mine, Chris, he's actually right over here. Okay, so Miguel, we're here to talk to him about upcoming shirts, you said? Yes, upcoming shirts. We're gonna have uh, some BMW Invasion shirts that are gonna be made by 1350 Apparel. We're really excited about what's gonna be developed as a result of this partnership, so stay tuned. And if you may have seen some of these shirts already, I've worn them before in a couple of videos, but we're excited. We're gonna start right now, have a meeting with uh, Chris and take a tour of the place. How you doing? Brand coordinator. She's the one that's responsible for everything. All, all the, all the complaints. Media. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> all the complaints, right? Media. Oh, you do the social media? Yeah, I like the social media and sales campaigns. And we'll get to the part of this. Sure. We'll just paint it Excellent. Thank you. All right, so we just stepped into the office with Chris, uh, CEO of 1350 Apparel. I'm here with Miguel too, so. Yeah, we're gonna talk a little bit about um, the apparel that we're thinking about doing for BMW Invasion and our partnership with uh, 1350 Apparel. So talk to us a little bit about uh, how long you've been in business and what do you do and where do you think this is gonna take us? Yeah, definitely. So uh, 1350 Apparel stands for 13 stripes, 50 stars in American flag. That's where the name came from. Uh, we've been in business since 2016, started in a garage with uh, a couple shirts that we made and we kept them in a little plastic storage bin. Mm -hmm. And uh, initially they were made for police officers. They had police on them. I sold them to a bunch of guys that I worked with and it went from my garage to what you see here. Uh, we're in a 11,000 square foot facility here in West Palm Beach now with a full fulfillment center, production center, we ship all of our orders from you all over the United States, right here out of West Palm. Everything's printed here, shipped here, designed here, um, and uh, it's been a ride. It's been a good time. It's so been talk, a good time. Yeah, talk to us a little bit about the shirt. I know you mentioned that it's it's unique, the way it fits, um, the length of the sleeves, the length of the shirt. Why, why the idea? What's the concept behind it? Yeah, absolutely. So the shirt was made by first responders for first responders. And what I mean by that is that everything about it is proprietary. We created the material that's used on it. Uh, we spent a lot of time perfecting each little detail on it, tighten it, stitching to make sure that it doesn't fray when it comes in contact with any kind of Velcro or tack vest that law enforcement officers wear. Um, we measured each sleeve on each side to make sure that the sleeve comes down the perfect length and it fits around your arm perfectly. The length on the bottom was extended to cover any kind of firearms or be able to be tucked in if you're wearing it as a uniform shirt. And we use a very proprietary polyester spandex blended material that creates a very soft, 
comfortable feel. Um, it's not your typical compression shirt that you would wear. It's something that's relaxed mm -hmm. and uh, just fits really nicely. You mentioned something about the collar as well. We typically buy shirts and, and after a few washes, you kind of see the collar dismantle and, and collapse. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. So the collar is actually purposely designed to not droop down after you wash it a few times. Uh, we spend a lot of time not only on the collar, but the cuffs of the sleeve to make sure that it stays formed. And uh, also when you take it out of the dryer, it has an anti-deformation technology that permits it to just come right out of the dryer, hang it in the closet, and it stays perfect, doesn't get wrinkled or uh, get deformed after you wash it. Excellent. You also have hats. I see you're wearing one. Yep. Talk to us a little bit about the hats. Yeah, so that was the second major product at 1350 Apparel. Uh, spent time designing and came out with that is the Leotex cap. That's another proprietary project that we worked on for a long time to make sure that the hats were perfect. Uh, that material is water resistant, odor resistant, stain resistant. You can take it out in the rain, you can wear it and it will not stain. It won't smell like crap when you get done wearing it. And uh, it repels the water like rain -X. I'll show you a little demonstration. Let's check it out. Here. Sure. Check this out. So we're going to take some water on top of this cap. We'll hold it right here over this little garbage can. The water just shoots right off it. And what's the intent for that? Why is it that you want a cap that's water resistant? So where I work, they gave us some really cheap flex fit caps that we used to wear. And as soon as you wear it and you take it out and you wear it out in the rain, it turns brown and it smells like crap when you get done wearing it. Or when it. you sweat, it kind of, you see the imprint of the sweat yeah. on it, it kind of turns it creates white, that right? white band that's around yeah. it. So uh, I came up with the idea to come up with something that prevented all of that. And that's what was born here, the Leo Tex cap. This does not stain, it doesn't hold the water, it doesn't smell, it has antimicrobial technology in it. And this is used for law enforcement officers all over the United States that uh, have to wear this out in the harsh elements and make sure that the cap stays looking brand new the entire time. Talk to us about the lettering on the cap. How, how do you test that? How do we make sure that that's gonna be on the cap for as long as you have the cap? Yeah, so initially on the first version of this cap, we would do embroidered. Uh, we recently switched it to a PVC lettering to make sure that the cap's fully water resistant and it doesn't absorb any water. This PVC is adhered to the front of the cap with a heat press machine and it is as durable as the material that it's stuck to. Mm -hmm. It doesn't come off. And the reason why we're talking to you, Chris, today is not because we want to buy um, this, you know, products. We actually want to produce our own products within BMW Invasions. So, which is why we're here talking about shirts because um, thankfully, Chris was able to give me a sample of the first shirt of BMW Invasions, and I gotta say, it came out great. So, a little about this shirt, you're saying it's not gonna smell, um, and when you wash it, it doesn't shrink or in the dryer, right? That's right, so we don't use any cotton inside of the shirts, and the reason for that is so it won't shrink. Uh, last thing you wanna do is spend money on a shirt and then throw it in the dryer and it comes out from uh, size large to size small. So mm -hmm. uh, this shirt's a polyester spandex blend. It doesn't uh, shrink when you dry it. This one was specially made for BMW Invasion. You can see here that we did a custom logo here on the front of it. Now this logo itself, you mentioned this logo is vinyl, right? That's right. Now explain to us that don't really know about materials or shirts, what does that mean? versus other brands or other materials you can use. Yeah, absolutely. So there's two options that you can do with this kind of shirt particularly. Uh, you can do screen printer, you can do vinyl. This is a new vinyl that we are testing currently that allows it to stretch with the fabric on the shirt. Obviously with a performance fabric, if you put something on there that doesn't stretch and doesn't have the same give as the, the shirt itself, uh, it'll start to break and fall apart. This one's particularly made to go on to performance materials, mm -hmm. and uh, you guys are the first ones to test it. Excellent. Looks and great. Miguel, can you put that shirt on for us? Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna put it on. I typically wear a large. My shirts don't fit as tight as Ken's, because Ken has a lot <laughs> more muscles than I do. Um, so I'm an average, uh, I use large, like, like I mentioned. This fits nice. What I like about it, is my uh, sleeves aren't hanging. Typically, you would buy a shirt and it kind of fits awkward, right? To where your sleeves hang or your neck is too tight. Like the shirt I have under it is kind of tight. This feels nice and loose on it, feels comfortable. I feel like I can move around and I'm not tight. I'm not, you know. And that's a large. And how tall are you? 
I'm 5'11". 5'11". So I'm 5'11". Um, I'm average, body build, you know, body type of guy um, with a little bit of stomach <laughs> associated with it, but... And for, like the, it. for the record, I've washed that shirt three times, put it in the dryer, and it hasn't shrunk. So... Yeah, it feels, fits. I like it. It fits really nice, and I feel that it's a shirt that I can grow with. You know, I think we go through stages sometimes where, you know, we're in the gym or we even getting, you know, gaining some weight. And this feels like it hides a lot of the imperfections that I may have in certain areas and it accents some of the other ones because, you know, we do like tight and fitted uh, around our arms because it makes our arms look bigger. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, this, I really like this. One thing, because I've been wearing his shirts for years now and one thing I like about his shirts is that it doesn't fade. The black stays black. It doesn't become light gray or dark gray, so it stays black. Chris, can you explain that a little? Yeah, so uh, obviously this shirt here, if you would see the ones that we started with and all of the samples that we made, we had different sizes, different fittings. Some of them were tighter, some of them were looser. That one was the final cut. That mm -hmm. one is uh, made exactly how we wanted it. So we did a relaxed fit as opposed to a compression fit. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is to in increase that comfortability that you have when you're wearing it. So it doesn't feel too tight on your, too tight around your waist or anything Correct. like that. So. Um, if you if you compare that to a bunch of the samples that we spent time testing to get to that one, uh, you would say, wow, this uh, this was perfectly built for this profession. Yeah. Um, so I the, did want you to talk a little bit about you know the length of it and the looseness kind of around the waist area. You said there was a theory as to why you made it this long and you gave it that kind of flexibility around the waist. Yeah. So we didn't spend. Too much time making it too long mm -hmm. obviously you don't want a shirt that looks ridiculous hanging down past your pocket so Correct. we made it the perfect length each size is set to a particular length in our operations coordinator's office and then this comes back down it's like a maze man to our production center So screen printing and vinyl, completely separate process. Vinyl, obviously, you're gonna create the image on the computer, it's gonna print out onto vinyl, and then we're gonna press it with a heat press machine onto mm -hmm. the shirt. This is screen printing, this is a complete science and a, uh, a very long process to get this image onto the shirt. And I'm gonna walk you guys through that now. All right, All right so the question is, why would someone pick screen printing over vinyl or vice versa? Yeah, so screen printing and vinyl, completely separate processes, vinyl, you're gonna create the design on the computer, it prints out onto a vinyl sheet, it cuts it into the shape that you requested, and then what you have to do is you have to line up each color, each one of these is a different piece of vinyl. So the light blue, blue, red, and white, cuts it all out into the shape, and then we press it onto the shirt with a heat press machine. Essentially like taking a sticker that's made to go on a shirt and getting it onto the garment. Mm -hmm. Screen printing, completely separate process. Screen printing, we're gonna take the design, we're gonna print it out onto a transfer film, from there, we're gonna go into our dark room. That dark room has screens that are coated with a special uh, chemical that's over the top of it that is not exposed until it comes out into the light. It's almost like back in the days when you went to a photo shop and they had a dark room and they right. were exposed films. Mm -hmm. Same concept here. They're gonna expose the screens with the design after it comes out onto the film. We have a special machine over there, the light box machine and uh, that puts the design into the screen. I'll take you guys through that next. You're gonna get a long life out of this shirt with screen printing on it. Uh, this is also a lot easier when 
you're doing complex designs. You can see here, this one has multiple colors and a lot of fine detail that you might not be able to get with a vinyl design. Okay. It's got white, blue, and red. You come here to the front of the shirt, we have a high gloss black with the Be Brave for our breast cancer awareness shirt. And then here's a very detailed pink breast cancer awareness ribbon. We could eventually do that with the BMW Invasions with that yeah. breast cancer awareness. Yeah, Back the here girls, has, uh, bright pink. Lots of little details here. All of this stuff, if you were to print it on vinyl, you would have to cut out each little piece here by hand and then press this on here. That can be very time consuming and uh, okay. something that is not conducive when you're printing out hundreds of shirts. Yeah. So this is our dark room. This light here is UV protected. Everything in here can't be exposed to light until we're ready for it to be exposed to light. So basically what we do is we would take this design, we would bring it up here onto our light table. This is where we calibrate all of the sizing. Measure it here, it goes onto a screen. You can see these screens here are all prepared, ready to go. What we do is once we have it aligned where we want on the screen, we take the screen out here and put it into our light box. So, so what is this actually? I know you're saying it's a screen, but for us that don't know what actually it is, it's like a frame, right? Yeah. So basically what this is, imagine if you had a screen patio, okay? Mm -hmm. And this is your screen that you have out on your patio. This is the same concept, but it's a lot finer. You can't really see the holes in it, but all of this has really small holes in it. And this is covered with an emulsion film. And basically okay. the way it works is this is reacting to light. You'll put your design on it, expose it with bright LED lights, and it'll burn your image into this emulsion. And then what it allows it to do is when we set this up on the machine for the screen printing, the ink will only go through the areas where your design uh -huh. is. Okay. And that's what creates the okay. design that you see on your shirt. Mm -hmm. Is this something that's common with other t-shirt companies or other brands? Yeah, so okay. screen printing is something that's been around for years. Uh, it's a science. It's something that these guys in every screen printing company are doing to get all of the images that you see on t-shirts today. All right, so this machine here is full of LED lights. I'm gonna turn them on for you so you can check it out. What you'll do is you'll set your design here with the screen, and then once I activate this machine, I close this, and it burns your image right into the screen. Okay, so where does the shirt go in this process? The shirt's not here yet. This is okay. what we're going to do is we're going to put the image onto the screen here and then we're going to take it over to the machine that lays the ink onto the shirt. Okay, so when you say burn through, it, explain that to me again. So you put the sheet that we just took off from the uh, from the dark room. That's right. And you place it on here and what's actually burning through? Yeah, so I'm going to take so that, that screen. that frame, then. you're going to lay the frame on here. Okay. Exactly. You can see it fits right here into this little square. You set the frame on here, and then when the lights that you see here shine through the image, okay. it'll only burn that image onto the screen. Okay. Right, and then I'm gonna yeah. take it over here, wash it out, and the only thing that the ink will go through is this part right here. Okay. So after you burn the image into the screen, this is what it looks like. You saw the emulsion in the dark room, that was the bright blue here that you saw. The only part that's available now for the ink to come through is right here. So this is what's washed out, we wash it out, and then we take it over to the press. All right, guys, the staff at BMW Invasions want to thank you guys so much for watching. And also the staff at BMW Invasions also want to thank 1350 Apparel. And I want to thank Chris specifically for giving us that private tour today. Thank you for taking the time out and showing us uh, your facility. Um, as you can see, these shirts and the way it's produced, these are not your typical car shirts that I said in the video earlier. Um, these are high quality where you're not going to get a handful of time of usage. Um, you're going to have years of usage of these shirts. And like I said, it's dry fit. All right, stay tuned for more. Follow us on Instagram. Uh, we have a Facebook group. You can follow us on there too. Um, and we also have another event happening this month in March, March 22nd.